And this is a video for toilet time. You better not watch it while you're eating. Everyone can make this beautiful song. Sometimes soft and sometimes rough. Sometimes long and sometimes short. And that's what it is. A fart. It's said that holding a fart is bad for the heart. So farting is a health need. But where you fart is important because sometimes it comes with a background music long. Although farts sing, if you let a silent fart in the elevator, you can still cover your nose and frown to escape. However, once a fart has a sound, you die of an embarrassment. Without further ado, let's see how to scientifically put a silent fart. Firstly, you can be bullied by experience for farting. According to research, people fart 5 to 10 times a day. If a person lives to be 90 years old, he should fart at least 164,250 times in his life. You never know what happened to next fart, because it lies. Sometimes it comes in an air solid mixture. That's shorting her for. Probability is not pretty reliable. Let's take a more scientific and practical approach to farting thing. To find out the answer, let's first find how bars make sound. Vibration and turbulent flow are the main causes of fart sound. We learned about vibration middle skip, and turbulence flow spans a wide range involving fluid mechanics and air acoustics. Let's start from the easy. Vibration produces sound, and sound source amplitude determines volume. We better explain this with the blue. The air blow jacket and a vibrate amount of blue to make sounds. When the air flow becomes stronger, the soft and flexible amount of blue is strongly impacted and displaced more. Thus, the amplitude becomes larger and makes long voice. In the process, the force exerted by the gas and mouth of blue is maximum and very gaining, and then gradually decreases. Now, so far without control, it's likely to start out long and get lower in sound as amount decreases. Of course, are not that simple. It's not just vibration works here. Fluid mechanics also plays a role. Any material with the fluidity is practically referred as fluid, including force. Most of the fluids you see in real life are viscous fluids. It's custom is that fluid has a viscous force or internal friction force to resist its old deformation when flowing. For example, it's easy to stir water, but it's hard to stir honey. When the viscous force air flow is strong, it flows calmly and steadily with each layer independent. As shown in the chart on the left, we call it laminar flow. When the viscous force air flow is weak, and the flow layers are mixed together and flow chaotically, like a turbulent river, as shown in the chart on the right, so it is called turbulent flow. Another characteristic of turbulent flow is that it has sound. It's one factor of bar sounding. How can we determine whether fart is laminar or turbulent? Reynolds number, an important dimensionless number in fluid mechanics, needs to be involved. Introduced by British physicist. Osborne Reynolds in 1883, it represents the degree of influence and viscous forces on flow state. Here is the formula. Rho refers to density, V refers to velocity, D is the diameter of a circular tube the flow goes through, and M refers to viscosity coefficient. The larger Reynolds number, the lower the degree of viscous force influence, the more likely fluid is turbulent, vice versa. Here is a specific defined value for reference. With this formula, can we force scientifically? Yes and no. It's difficult for us to control Rho and Me because they are related to daily diet and rest. Luckily, V and D can be controlled by practice. As you can see from formula, an increase in velocity and pipe diameter brings about an increase in Reynolds number, which further causes turbulent flow. But have you ever tried? The larger diameter, the smaller the sound tends to be, isn't it? Actually, an increase in pipe diameter slopes down flow of gas. Assume that the part of constant flow rate Q passes through a hole of radius r and area s equals to pi r squared. Q equals to s times v. It follows that v equals to pi r squared divided by q. Putting v into Reynolds number formula gives the following result. Obviously, with a constant for volume, increase in radius reduces Reynolds number. Having mastered principles and factors that influence sound force, we found that the most effective way to load the sound force is to physically increase the radius, which also helps to avoid far the vibrating buttocks. But if you're with someone or standing, will is the only thing we can count on. People can control the inner sphincter well by relaxing and tightening to achieve different softness and elasticity. A few proper exercises brings good results. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy it.